Hello, this is David Benheim from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create report page tooltips in Power BI. Now, what are those, you ask? That means that you get this pop-up on a specific data point with any visual you want, breaking that down or showing you other details. So if I point here, this means that this is how all the data over time by singer percent female relates to sponsor being Honda. If I do it here, it could be related to the year 2017 or geographic, whatever I want, it can still work. You can even do it on these charts with picture axes. And this is quite a cool trick. If you want to know how to build these, it's uh, using a bit of a hack. I have another video that I'll link to explaining that. All right. So first you create your page like this. And uh, generally it would be just a new page, but I've already pre-built with some visuals to speed up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to choose page information. Uh, so the default is this is showing me drill through. If I change page information to this tooltip, that changes what I want here to a tooltip option. Now I'm going to say this is related to the sales. You can, by the way, have multiple things in here. I could also say it's the sales target. You can also have dimensions. Uh, I don't tend to use them, but you can choose a dimension there and then say show when the tooltip is used as a category or summarized. Something I very rarely use, but it is an option. So that is how to set it up. Then there's a couple more things that we need to do to get ready. So in page size, I tend to go for a tooltip. That's not necessary. It just makes it easier to deal with and a realistic size when people hover over it. Uh, plus in page view, I like to see things as actual size because this view is deceptive. This is how it's actually going to look. And finally in wallpaper, I will change the color to be black. So it just really, really pops up. Yeah, you see how these things just uh, popped up there? I pre-populated there to show what I wanna show. Perfect, all right. This should not say spectators. This should say this is a sales breakdown. Uh, just a point that seems to be a bug for now. If you create new visuals in this, it sometimes tends to push them beneath <laughs> what is the allowed area for this to happen. To fix it, you just got to like resize it and make sure that it's in view. But yeah, it did you see how it pushed this up? But that was a bug in the software. All right, so we've got that showing there now. I also like to click here and hide page. That's sort of most of the work because now if I've got data broken down by sales, which I do here, it's automatically showing me the tooltip that I just built, which is pretty nice and it works for different kinds of visuals. Notice the data is kind of pointless if I've already got the data there, but it does work for all of these visuals by default. Um, there is another way to do it, and this one I'm looking at spectators by gender. So this is not actually related to the sales thing, so it's not popping up or it's popping up with another one. I can overwrite what it pops up with by clicking on this button going to where it says tooltip, and I can choose the type to be report page or default. So if you don't want that to happen and you just want your defaults, that's your default. Or otherwise, you can go to report page and instead of auto, you can choose another one. So I can have the sales one popping up even though it's spectators. That is okay as well. Uh, finally, um, by default, it doesn't show on a table. However, you can get it showing on a table. Um, and the way I did this, this is a trick to get it in a table, is you can go to scroll down here and where it says tooltip, you can just simply turn this on or off. This isn't any visual, but by default, the table will have it off and the others will have it on. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial. If you like that, you can check out a lot of my other videos on similar content, including how to build this image access chart, which is quite nice. And even how to get these directly from the internet using a web scraping tool built into Power BI. All right, thanks for watching.